I am Sali Ali. And with another video I welcome you to Sali Tutorials. So let's get started. You will need a few photos to create a slideshow like mine. As you can see in my media I have a lot of photos and I will use some of them. Drag and drop the photo you want to put into the slideshow first on the timeline. Double click the picture, after double clicking on the picture, open the transform tab. Inside transform, just make the picture scale 80%. And then click OK. Click on the sample color. And drag the white color image to the timeline. Move the girl picture up the track. And bring the white color picture to the start, and put it in the background. The white color image is to be brought closer to the photo of the girl through the display screen, from the top side and from both the wide sides. Click on the photo of the girl and keep its white position at 10, so that the position of the photo moves slightly upwards. This is because we will write the text in the white picture section below the girl's picture. So we made a white border around the picture. And then click OK. Then go to the titles, and click on the titles. Drag and drop the default title into the track above the timeline. Double click on the title and edit the title. Write what you want to write here. Customize the font size. Bring down the text on the display screen, and place it over the blank white space. Apply the text style you like in the preset with double click on the text. Choose a nice style for the font. And click OK. Now take a snapshot of this photo. So you can see that I took this snapshot and it has snaps all the text, photos and borders. For other photos, just delete the girl's photo from the timeline, and leave the text in white picture on the timeline. Then the same method is used for all photos. I'll just do this photo the same way and then move on to the next steps. Double click the picture and click animation and then customize. Move the playhead one second from the start and keep the scale 70% in this keyframe. And the rotation 25 degrees. And adjust the position for it on the display screen. Move the playhead back to the start, and in this keyframe, restore the rotate, scale and position. And then grab the picture on the display screen, and move it out of the screen in the lower right or left corner of the screen. So it will become such an animation. Click OK. Now drag the second screenshot to the second track. Click on the second keyframe of the track below to move the playhead there. And move the start head of the second track image to the playhead. Grab the end of this picture, and drag it to the end of the down track picture. Double click on this picture, place the playhead slightly ahead of the start of this picture. And keep the scale 70% in this keyframe. And the rotation minus 25 degrees. 
and adjust the position for it on the display screen. Move the playhead back to the start of this picture. And in this keyframe, restore the rotate, scale and position. And then grab the picture on the display screen, and move it out of the screen in the lower right or left corner of the screen. So it will become such an animation. Place the playhead on the second keyframe of the second track, and click OK. And drag the third snapshot closer to the playhead in the third track of the timeline. Grab the end of this picture, and drag it to the end of the down track picture. Double click on the picture. The animation of this picture is a bit different. Move the playhead one second from the start. And keep the scale 80% in this keyframe. There is no rotation in the animation of this picture. Move the playhead back to the start of this picture. And in this keyframe, restore the scale. And then grab this picture on the display screen, and drag it straight down and out of the screen. So it will become such an animation. Place the playhead on the third keyframe of the third track, and click OK. Now, just like I taught you how to make animation for these three pictures, make the same animation for the rest of the pictures. So you can see that I have also animated the rest of the pictures. Before I move on, let me show you the animation of all these pictures. Then select all the pictures on the timeline, and increase the duration of all pictures by another 5 seconds. And place the playhead 2 seconds ahead of the end of the pictures. And just add a single frame to the pictures of all the tracks here. And then place the playhead in the end of the pictures. And restore the rotation of all the pictures in the end keyframe and zero the opacity. Now move the end keyframe of all the tracks to the first keyframe a little bit. The higher the track, the shorter the duration of the keyframes. Click OK. So in the end this kind of animation was created. Then drop the shadows for all the pictures. So for the drop shadow, double click on a picture in the timeline. Click on the image tab. And turn on the drop shadow check here. Similarly, click on each image on the timeline, and check on the drop shadow of all images. And then OK. Select all the pictures on the timeline, and hold all these pictures like this and drag and drop them up one track. Now we have an empty track below. You can put a background picture or video for the slideshow in the track below. I drag this video to the track below the timeline. And set the duration of the background video. With that, our slideshow was successfully created. Let's see. Hope you enjoy creating slideshows like this. So if this video helps you out, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe. And as always, keep creating better video with Solid Tutorials. Bye.